Hello, children. And I'm back with a new look. Yes, with the turban. I was so bored that day that I actually put on individual false ears and check out my pimples right there. So here I am starting up with an eye base. You want to use it so you can get your colours to be more vibrant but I had no idea what I was going for. I kind of winged this look while recording and I'm taking my Naked One palette in the colour Gunmetal and patting it all over my eyelid. Come to think of it, I should have put a darker base, not a lighter base colour. But oh well. Now taking this colour called Psycar, I'm just using a fluffy brush to blend it all away. So now I'm taking the colour in Creep and an angled brush and you want to accentuate your outer V and make it a bit more darker to create that smoky look. Don't forget to blend it out. Well I guess I wanted to add a pop of yellow in there but that was the only yellow I had. It was pretty fail. It didn't actually show properly but it gave my eye a pretty 3D dimensional, 3 dimensional look. <laughs> Now I'm taking my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and just outlining my lower lash line. This will just act as a base because I'm thinking of adding a bit of yellow in there as well. Okay, so I'm taking my fail yellow again. It wasn't that pigmented but it did kind of show as you can see. But it kind of looked a bit awkward. But you'll see what I'll do next. Okay, so that kind of looks flipping weird, so I'm going to add an eyeliner and smudge it all out. Okay, so now I'm taking this little brush to smudge out my eyeliner into the yellow. It kind of gives a bit more mysterious and smoky dramatic look. Guys, I have officially named this yellow fail yellow because it's not really highlighting my tear duct, but I decided to put it there anyway. Now moving on. Never forget your eyebrows chickadees. I never feel complete without doing my eyebrows. So I'm using this Revlon. It has like the wax on one side and I'm just using this Jordana um, eyeshadow and filling in my eyebrows. I just feel an eyebrow powder just makes your eyebrows look much more natural. So because I'm wearing individual falsies and not the permanent glued ones, I just decided to put mascara on my bottom lashes. So now I'm taking gel eyeliner and using this eyeliner brush, um, I pretty much used whatever I had left in that gel liner container. It was a bit dry and a bit hard to work with but I still managed to do my eyeliner and I just did a wing eye as you can see and I just wanted to cover the glue from the eyelashes. I've already applied my foundation on before I did my eyeshadow and now I'm just trying to cover those hideous acne scars. I'm also just dusting some translucent powder all over my shiny areas because I get very very oily. So I've been love love loving this bronzer from e.l.f. It's pretty much the dupe for NARS and I'm basically just bringing back to life a bit more colour into my cheeks, um, defining my nostrils, I mean nose, and giving myself a bit more dimension. And this is my go-to blush right now. It's from Everbelina. It's like a coral colour. I love it. And you guys, I've been loving this Clinique lip gloss. It really moisturizes my lips. Um, I got it in a uh, tester tube ages ago, but it works so well. Okay, so I opted for Viva Glam Nikki, and yeah, that is a fake smile because I just knew it did not work for me. So I kind of patted it down and came up with this. Ta-da! 
Hey guys, so I ended up changing my lips to this number 001 Nude Attitude by Revlon. Look how flat that is. That looks much better. The other one looked redonk. Oh, uh, and I'm topping it up with 022 Sunset Peach in the Revlon lip gloss. Yes, I put <sighs> massive bun. It's not a donut. I just sprouted it out to make it look like a donut because I see to wear a donut today. But I'm getting my hairspray. Taming that thing, we're gonna be on a boat, so my hair's gonna be flippity pimp everywhere. So this is my look, guys. Um, this is my makeup. As you can see, I'm wearing falsies. I just put them on myself, but they're individual ones, so I didn't exactly put mascara on. And I don't know if you can tell, but I did put yellow in my tear duct area and underneath but that was just experimental and that's pretty much it i'll show you my outfit guys oh by the way i'm going to kimi's birthday party she actually has a boat hired for all for us i'm so excited guys happy birthday kimi oh i'm wearing this necklace from jj it reminds me of um wonder woman it's a neon knights theme so that's why i'm all neony um this is my top from g2000 skirt from Zara, you can see there. And just for my walking shoes, I have these with the neon flats. I got them for $5 at Kmart. And well, I hope you like my look, guys. Um, like I said, I really love making these videos, but tonight wasn't, well, I don't know. I thought it was a flop at the start. So we'll see how my editing goes. And um, I'll see you later. I'll see you later. That feeling, it's awesome. I didn't show you my bag, eh? I just wear this bag, guys, but it doesn't even fit my freaking phone. I'll see your weight. Oh, hopefully, you can see this properly. The lighting is so crap. It's raining outside, guys.